hello everyone and thank you for coming back to the channel for another video and you know we got to be talking about something because i don't come on here and just be twiddling my thumbs i come over here to talk to my youtube family because something just not settling in my spirit and well I'd rather not talk to myself, so I thought I'd come over here and talk to you all. Hopefully, you all had a wonderful Tuesday work day. Or if you don't work, you're retired or disabled. Hopefully, you had a good, enjoyable day and didn't do too much, okay? It's all about relaxation. All about relaxation for the mind, body, and soul. And I also want to tell y'all, I don't know what's Facebook doing. They do a lot of purging around... Uh, this time and uh probably in january of accounts so i don't know if they're getting some of my subs and uh just taking them away because they're not active or whatnot but please guys sub back to my channel i think facebook is messing with me okay ah <sighs> but anyway with that said and done remember all things work together for our good for those who love the lord now i have been trying to stay off this woman right here but she has just disturbed me all over again i always saw cynthia as somebody is shy um she speaks when she feels like she needs to sometimes she's not a good defender of herself or her emotions but that's just how she is i don't know her upbringing i guess but i was mad as hell when i saw this particular um show she was on i guess uh, doing a guest appearance i guess and um yeah she was just sitting talking to lonnie love lonnie love got her little spinoff um segment i think it's called daily pop or whatever and i don't know the other guy's name not you know that you know there uh, but he was an interviewer and he was asking her all these questions surrounded by Real Housewives with Lana, her leaving, this, that, and the third. Yeah, cat, she's finally gone. Oh, okay, God, she is finally gone, praise the Lord. But anyway, it's almost like she's taking this opportunity. I know Whitney, you looking puzzled too. I, I am, I'm puzzled. But hear me out, okay? It seems like Cynthia's taking this opportunity to get on the social media network of all phases of television from the talk the view daily pop essence people wendy williams at one time just to showcase and et okay probably essence as well i haven't really caught up with her just when she seems like she's doing stupid stuff out there i just have to comment and put my two cents in okay but uh it's like she trying to make nini or she's trying to put it like she was scared of Nene uh, because her and Nene had broke up and they hadn't talked in about two years, I think she said. And I'm like, well, who fought is that? You can love a person and leave them alone, totally sick. And it seems like that's what you did when you got married to your husband, Mike. And I think Mike is putting some information in your ear and trying to ostracize you or alienate you from you know contacting or being around uh or being in the circles of nene leaks i mean that was just piss poor judgment just because you all were mad at each other or she had said some unforgivable things hell she caught your ex-husband peter a itch okay and y'all seem to have woven back together because peter he didn't care he was on the show he was making his little money 10 percent they were giving the men on the show for appearing here and there whatever i know they were getting something even if it y'all just was giving to them as y'all spouses but <laughs> i don't think peter would have missed had you missed or he wouldn't have missed going to the celebration of life event that nene had for Greg, even if they were at odds and if anybody would be at odds they call somebody an itch on live television or pre-recorded television and still could sit and hug her and kiki and go on about their business why couldn't you i just just really got just upset with Cynthia at the time I, oh i yes oh we hadn't talked in two years when they were asking her about nene and their repairman and uh celebration and stuff and why she wasn't there and then she didn't really give a decent answer i mean if you're gonna be all truthful 
like you were truthful when the media really found out that you just got let go in a sense because it wasn't what you wanted and they weren't giving you any more at the table uh, that you had been sitting at for some odd years okay they weren't renewing your contract they told you we would love to have you back but we can't afford you no more oh and, and uh we have you as a friend if you want to do that but see she didn't come out and say that when she was first introduced of the idea she won't be coming back and she wouldn't say anything and i'm like girl just tell the truth they didn't want you no more or they weren't offering you no full-time peach now you wasn't gonna take less of them uh and you just had to bounce pretty much everybody would have respected that they would say okay well yeah i see where you're coming from you don't want to be doing all that taping here and then you still getting pennies on a dollar when you were getting major money because it is going to be a dent and trust me you are going to feel that dent but it's like she's playing both fences. She's two-sided. She's still doing that. Like, be one way and be settled with it. You know, be at peace with that one decision you could possibly make. But again, she's still going uh, on both sides trying to see what she could fit in, what she could get in. Because she knows she's going to miss that full-time peach money. Even though she kept saying, it was time, it was time. No, Cynthia, you did lesser than any of the women on the show okay and then when they did try to put you in drama i'm like whitney you look like a complete ass you couldn't even get it together hell your daughter got it together on many times and she got you together on many times in many episodes in different seasons okay she got you together and this was a young girl talking to their mama more mature and intelligent I, I just didn't understand it. And now you want to be on all these different circuits of outlet media trying to explain the reasonings why you left. Baby, they got rid of you. That's all you had to say. Every time you do an interview, well, they didn't want what I had to offer. Uh, maybe they do need some fresh faces. But, hey, they wanted to bring me back as a friend. And I really felt that I had gave more of my time my energy and i have put some good efforts towards the show and for them to give an insult of a return contract based on so many different scenes i'll be in maybe like if we've got a, a whole season uh and we're we got like eight, eight episodes i may be in three of them you know i'm like damn i'm feeling like nene when she was back in the uh in the way well back in the day when she was hollering about racism and discrimination towards women and unequal rights and all that stuff i should have been on her bandwagon i mean you should have been blowing the whistle like nene because if they ask her back and they want her back from what it seems like for a couple of scenes to kind of put greg to rest because he was a pivotal uh statement on the show when they did have the men come out and, and support their wives in different scenes or whatnot or different events they were attending with them and you know um you just didn't I, I i didn't like it i didn't like it then when i heard her say trying to explain herself away to oh yeah i came up with the ironically i came up with the friend contract and we thought it was stupid then something you thought it was stupid because you didn't want to take the money okay then you're going to try to defend yourself and say oh well no nah, i didn't want to do it that way but then on the other hand you're saying they have a good way of bringing the ogs back so you're saying you want to be back so you're basically saying you never want to go anywhere but you got thrown out the door but it's okay i hope they don't ask you back because i don't know why they would ask you back cynthia i'm just saying we trying to keep it all real and that man you ain't gonna tell me your whole demeanor and you can't even look nobody in the face when someone asks you why weren't you at nini's going away or celebration of life uh event she had for her deceased husband you had to look down at the flow you had to look away from the interviewers everything but telling the truth so you know if y'all haven't watched this show go over to house of aaron um it's a i mean h-a-u-s-e i think a, a house of aaron he 
he's very funny he's a very funny character and i like his commentary we kind of see eye to eye on certain things you know so go check him out tell him Dale chanel for this world um sent you all over okay and y'all might see what i'm talking about with some of his commentary he do on the real housewives of atlanta and certain other people he may talk about celebrity celebrities in the entertainment field but we both can agree there was no reason for you not to attend i don't care what nene did to you it wasn't about nene okay it wasn't about her it was about greg and greg never did anything to you unless you want to tell us something different we're listening eyes are open and if you really can't say greg did anything to harm you or upset you then you should have been there that was just poor piss taste of you i don't care what your husband was telling you or whoever was in your ear at the time if kenya can come from an engagement dance with the stars preparation to come and attend her uh arch nemesis um person she just you know felt was totally vile to her at times if she can drop what she's doing and make that event just because of greg it had nothing to do with nene and even kenya said he was the nicest man she's ever could come across with meeting and she felt nene was very lucky to have had greg in her life and i must agree i must agree that is so true because i don't ever think nene is going to get somebody like greg again how they say you get him once in a lifetime a good partner um and you don't get another partner like that in your lifetime on this planet of existence i do believe that uh, so she can always definitely say it. she once knew and had love in her life if she never has experienced that type of love anymore from another gentleman suitor okay but i mean since we just so she made me just want to just puke basically if i was on the stage i would just puked on her because i was like you just still throwing up so much fakeness i mean of course you didn't like nene for whatever reason and i really think the reason why you can't get over it is because mike magic mike your husband is putting all sorts of stories uh, or, or imaginations uh uh, scenarios and you just keep being fascinated with it or entangled with it that you can't see the forest for the trees okay because again mike should have brought you he should have said no we're gonna go we're gonna pay our respects and then we're gonna leave because it ain't about nene okay but he didn't have that much respect for uh greg at that point because if I'm not mistaken, when he was first introduced to coming on the show, uh, he said you were the only one that was classy on the show. So he kind of dissed the rest of your castmates. So I'm like, why? Because you didn't run your mouth. You didn't cuss. You didn't try to fight nobody. That's what he was trying to say. But he really saw the show as still being ratchet. But he wanted to be on the show and, and wanted to be uh, film taping as much as he could to get himself out there to be seen. Not in the sports arena commentary, but in the entertainment type section. I'm like, okay, what happened to that show? And I'm going to keep saying it until I see it come to fruition. Maybe I can talk it into fruition. Y'all supposed to have a game show or a dating show or something. What happened, Cynthia? It's been uh, it's been two years. You're going to be just like Sheree and those joggers and those fashions that never came to into existence. You know, I'm like Dwight. How dreadful. <laughs> How dreadful no fashions okay but uh, only thing i said like i said on Aaron house of Aaron's uh chat line only thing you gave us cynthia was face because you damn sure got that makeup under control when you were modeling you definitely honed your skills and mastered the art of keeping that face beat okay that's what you might need to go into makeup artistry you know you could be on you know on the sidelines making some more money on um, fixing up celebrities uh you know being a little entrepreneur and going out uh making up faces for the rich and famous and other celebrities get your cute coin okay and that was a new idea for you Cynthia take a take heed of it and you did give us fashions you know about fashion because you was a fashion model i can't take those things away from you beautiful elegant it was essential but that's it that's all you gave us and maybe that was enough to solidify your 
uh, stance on the show. Because you definitely didn't give us no beef. And even when you and Portia got into that thing and you kicked her in her vagina. That was just like, oh, that's so elementary, Cynthia. That was just out your character. Why you just didn't get her by the throat or the neck? Why you going to punch somebody or kick somebody in the vaginal part? You, know, you mean you do that to men when they're trying to harm you in any other kind of ways. You know, you hit them in the nuts, okay? But we don't go and hit other women in the vagina, you know. We might do the hair pulling might do the scratching but you know some women about that life they may give you a knuckle sandwich you know go up inside that head but you know it just is what it is okay we always have to repent before we end the day okay because we don't did something or thought something or, or or said something that wasn't quite kosher but anyway yeah, I just had to get my two cents in, guys, about what I saw on uh, Daily Pop and what I've been looking at uh, other bloggers out there getting um, Cynthia's uh, e example or her uh, explanation of why she didn't come. Only thing I could come up with that she said out of her mouth, so I won't be misconstruing anything, that she said she was scared. She hadn't talked to Nene in a couple of years. She didn't know what to say, what to do. Well, you know, it's called put on your big girl drawers, Cynthia, and go face the music. Okay? And if she didn't let you in, that would have made Nene look stupid and ma immature. You see what I'm saying? Because you're coming because you knew this man. Y'all had a relationship, friendship. And, you know, um, you kind of helped Nene got back on the show when she had went in her, hi her hiatus trying to do other things in hollywood uh arena and in an entertainment field and trying to be on sh uh sitcoms and, and little uh we call it uh little sitcom shows and it didn't really pan out for her and you brought her kind of eased her back in the door of real housewives of Atlanta. so you was uh a uh, uh, important factor for her coming back as a friend and she's coming in playing off your scenes uh, on the show and you know how, how could you be scared you know i'm like is it ever going to be a point in your life where you're not scared of facing your fears or coming into account ability of some of the things you did wrong and you have to face up to them because it, to me, it just seems like you're hiding behind Mike. And Mike uh, sets all the rules, sets the tone. And you're supposed to be submissive to everything. Even though when you know it's wrong, you go along with it. Okay? Don't understand that one. But you did not tell us that you had other engagements. Uh, you just said, oh... Uh, myself and my husband we couldn't attend but you didn't say why you couldn't attend you know it would have been good if somebody was like sick or you know ill to the point where it was like uh, what do you call it unexpected and it detoured you because you had to go take care of that situation because it was family you know what I'm saying oriented or you know you had a, a, a big thing you had to do that's going to come it's going to be making you money like an opportunity that had just landed at your doorstep and you had to make quick decisions and you had to be somewhere else other than atlanta uh but that you didn't say that so the house of Aaron saying you was out there barbecuing in the backyard you know entertaining your husband it was just you and mike <laughs> it was just you and mike and y'all was just having a time of y'all life in the backyard barbecuing. And I could see that. I kind of fantasized about it. Like put it on my mind. Just pictured you and Big Head Mike sitting on a grill. Well, you should have been in Atlanta doing what you needed to do. And then after social media hit up everybody. Everybody. Past, present, and future was at Nene's get together sent an invitation and everything and from my understanding she sent you an invitation Cynthia but yet you just disregarded it threw it in the wind and it hit the trash can with the lid on top of it as return to sender I guess you wanted it to go back to Nene I mean you were making a point it was a badass point I mean anything else if, if Nene was opening up a club or Nene was you know starting on Broadway and 
you know, some type of accolade success thing she was endeavoring at the time. If you want to throw shade that way and not attend, I could understand that. But somebody's death, you're going to make it a point to make your point that you ain't going and this should hurt her. Worse than it ever could because she didn't come to your wedding. That was a celebration. You know, she missed out. But we talking about her death, Cynthia. Everything goes out the window. The hate, the jealousy, the conceitedness, the lies somebody may have told on you. All that just go out the window for that particular couple of hours that you're paying tribute. Or you're paying your last bit of respect to that person. Because you're not going to see them again. Not on this plane of existence. You know what I'm saying? It could have worked together. It could have worked uh, rebuilding you and Nene's friendship. Because it seems to me she might not have no qualms with Kenya no more. Because Kenya showed up and showed out. She put all her differences aside. And came and celebrated. And you know held her peace against Nene. If Nene wanted to go off on her shade or whatever. That was her. Because she was coming. She was going to be cute, nice and 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 behave herself okay and she did that and it was a beautiful thing but you 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 out there in yonder in kansas somewhere clicking your heels trying to get back now you want to get back with nene then you're gonna come to town and want to hit up marlo saying oh i i got to talk to uh i got to talk to uh nene can you set it up for me like don't you have her number did she block you Girl, did she block you after she didn't, you didn't show up for the event? How come you couldn't get to Nene? How come you couldn't go to Nene's house? She hadn't moved in the last couple of years, several years. She's been at the same residence. Now she's planning on getting the hell out of uh, Atlanta. I'm pretty sure. I don't think she's going to be here. I think she's going to be up in L.A. somewhere or Baltimore. You know, I don't think she's going to make this home anymore. And I understand, you know, sometimes you got to get away, get yourself together, move away for some years, come back, have no outlook on life. But, I mean, she, she don't raise the kids, so she can do pretty much anything she want to. She kind of can, can be retired in a, a little way. Because I heard, uh, and it was one of my uh, lovely, um, oh, shoot, it was one of my uh, viewers of my show forgot the latest name but she told me to get my shit together and do me do do some more research girl she said lanethia gave that club lanethia to her son brett that she had with greg so he's supposed to be the owner as well as the um general manager of it i don't know but he he best get some good people uh on his staff because he don't know too much about the business world as much as he sh probably should know. So nobody won't be ripping his ass off. On the back side. You see what I'm saying. So hopefully he'll be. He can go to school. Learn about the art of uh, managing. A successful lounge. Slash club. And, and, and make him some more revenue. As a good idea that Nene. You know brought that for herself. But I don't think. I, I understand why Nene brought it myself anyway. Because it didn't seem like she wanted to be held down. When you buy a club and stuff like that. Or chains of clubs. You got to be there. You got to be watching everybody. You got to be watching that coin. Okay. And make sure everything is up uh, up to par. For citations. Making sure you know the food is right. You know. She, hell I think Candy can learn a little bit from Nene. Because I ain't never seen Nene uh, lounge up in no uh cold inspection where she failed okay i'm sure they had to do a little inspection too because she's serving alcohol as well as uh food so she, candy might need to be taking a few lessons from nene but uh this is my pun intended but i'm gonna go on and let y'all hear uh, a little bit from e-news they had caught her on a daily pop where she was calling herself trying to talk about the situation of the friend offer contract bravo was going to give her to be seen on the show but she wasn't going to be a full-time uh, peach holder and what she said to that event and then what she says about not attending nini's event but if you want to catch it you can definitely go to daily pop or e-news and put in uh, cynthia bailey talks reuniting with nini leaks and it should pop up for you but i'm just giving you the um short audio version because uh i don't feel like showing the picture and getting uh 
what do you call it, restricted on my video. Okay, but let's listen to a little bit and we'll come back and give our last narrative part of the video. And then we'll let y'all comment. Okay, but here we go. Speaking of coming and going, I know that you and Nene Leakes didn't have a friendship for a very long time. And one of the people that really wanted you guys to mend fences was Greg. Yes. And it seems like Greg may have gotten his wish after all because I saw a photo of the two of you. What was it like that moment that you guys saw each other face to face? For the first time in how many years? Um, probably a couple of years at wow. least, you know. You know, when you don't work with people, you don't really have to see them anymore. Yeah. But um, with that said, I was devastated for, for Nini when Greg passed. Yeah. I was there. You know, I was a very good friend. I sure you were, Cynthia. Sure you were. So I've kind of been along this journey with her the entire time. So unfortunately, I was not able to make it. Uh, my husband and I were not able to make it to the celebration. So it was just weighing on me because I wanted that moment, but I didn't know what that moment would feel like with her because we weren't we're not friends anymore so how do you go to your friend that's not your friend anymore and say hey i, I just want to come and sit with you i want to come and and hug you and i was scared to death so i called marlo i was like marlo bitch you taking me to see me yeah, right. okay mm -hmm. i'm back in atlanta and i need to see her and when they were having their issues you know i you know help pull them back together so so she owed me one and uh i I was really nervous. I was like, oh, my God. And Marlo's like, well, we won't tell her. We'll just surprise her. And I was like, I don't know if that's a good idea. I yeah, think right? she, oh, I ain't trying to surprise me. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> they can go either way. So, anyway, long story short, we went, and she was like, you know, late getting there. We're sitting in the parking lot. And I was like, I don't want to pull up until until she comes. And you know, it just was a mess. By the time I saw her, you know, it was a moment. It was a little awkward at first. But after about 10 minutes, uh, we were fine. We were fine, and then we I pretty much helped close up the Lanithia Lounge. Oh, my and, God. Uh, I'm happy to hear it that. It was happy. Mm, we've got more Daily Pop. Lizzo just gave a TED Talk about the twerk. Check out... Okay, now that was E! News, the Daily Pop, and Cynthia's rendition of what she felt happened. And even when you see her talking about it. She was almost like cringing because she was searching for the correct words to say. Instead of just saying, you know, I fumbled. I, flub, I you know, I fumbled. I flew up that opportunity. I should have been there. And it was no excuse. It was just me being in my feelings. You know what I'm saying? I think Nene would have been all like, okay, okay. At least you warm enough to admit you didn't have a good reason not to show your ass up in here. Okay? And at least you said it in the public eye. So they don't be thinking I'm trying to jump on you. Or like you're trying to make me look in public. Like, you know, we had some really big beef that you couldn't even on my husband Def show up. You know? And that's what she made me feel like Nene is some this real big, you know, ogre or really big bully that, you know, she can't just, you know, she got to walk on eggshells. She can't do this. She can't do that. I'm like, girl, I would have strolled up on in now with the rest of the crew. What's she going to do? Cuss all of us out? And I'm pretty sure people would have been, been defending you if Nene tried to get around your throat or, or whatever you know and of course we had to give Lena a little leeway because she is grieving and you know emotions run high so we would have gave you some leeway you know we had to say since you better get on up out of here girl before she whoop that ass tap that you know then that would have been a good way to get on up out there but at least you could say I went you know, I didn't let nobody stop me. Because even then, when you came to Atlanta, you didn't say Mike came with you. So, was you really being held back? Because, I mean, you just tell us the truth, girl. The truth was such a freak. Okay. But y'all see how I felt about it. You got a chance to listen to the audio and hear her say her piece about what actually had transpired. She had to get the third party involved, which was Marlo Hampton. Marlo owed her one. I'm like, John, <laughs> take the power back from Nene. Be adults about certain things, you know, and just let shit let the cookies fall where they may. But at least you know you did a woman boss move by showing up, showing out. And Greg was a, a very nice friend. And you wanted to pay your respects. 
And if that's all that came out of it, no friendship still with you and Nene, then let it be. Let it be. Let it be. Okay? But that's all I had, guys. If y'all want to get down in those comments and tell me how y'all felt about it. Or did y'all actually see the interview um, that she did with uh cynthia did with daily pop and how y'all felt about her mannerisms of her expressing herself both about her leaving the real housewives of atlanta franchise and about her reasoning or lack thereof reasoning of why she didn't show up for greg lisa's uh celebration of life uh event nini had for him and again like i said Facebook is playing with my subscription, so I'm going to need y'all to look on y'all phones, and if y'all were subscribed, and somehow y'all got unsubscribed, subscribe back, please, because Facebook is messing with me, okay, and we can't have that, we can't have that, but if you like more videos like this, okay, please don't hesitate to just keep view viewing uh, my site, my channel, and if you like it, love it, you got to have more uh, let me know in the comments and definitely like, share, and subscribe to the channel. And I will see y'all next video. Bye-bye.